Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to create this nice logo. So let's create a new file, go to file, new, and put it on 1920 by 1080 pixels, create. And now let's create some guides. Go to view, new guide, and put it on 0 pixels vertical. Okay, and now you see the line here, which is a guide. Now do it again, view, new guide, and put it on 500 pixels vertical. And now let's do it again, but horizontal. Go to view new guide and put it horizontal 0 pixels and now again view new guide and put it on 500 pixels horizontal okay so now we created a square using the guides so now get the ellipse tool and create a circle holding shift to make it proportional and let's place it inside the square we created and now press ctrl t to scale and transform and just holding shift to just move one edge just place it inside the square so it can fit in perfectly okay so now it fit in perfectly so click on it and hold alt you see two cursors here just move it like this and hold shift to make it parallel and stop where the center of the circle here is on the line so in the layers you would find there's ellipse one copy and ellipse one so ellipse one copy you can hold control and press on the box of it and it would get a selection and now press on ellipse one and hold alt and press on the mask and now when you remove ellipse one copy you would see this circle is masked so now let's delete ellipse one copy and ellipse one let's right click on it and convert to smart object and now we can create the floral shape okay now press on this moon looking shape and hold alt to get the two cursors and copy and drag holding shift to make it parallel and then ctrl t to scale and transform and rotate it 90 degrees and then just stick them together you would see they directly stick so now do it again with the second moon, press on it and hold alt and drag and control T and rotate 90 degrees and stick them. And one more time with the last one, hold alt, drag, control T to scale and transform and 90 degrees and stick them. And now we have this shape here. So let's clear the guides, go to view, clear guides and let's move it to the middle so we can start working on it and go to layers and choose the first ellipse one here right click blending options and give it a gradient overlay and you can see the color changed here go to a gradient overlay and put it on normal linear and the colors i chose is the first one c82270 and the second one is d09292 okay and now you can maybe move slightly this to the right so you can see more of this color okay and change the direction so the dark color can come from this side from the inside of the flower yeah that's fine okay so now hold alt and drag the effects on all the other circles so now you have the effects on all the circles so you can change the direction of each effect go to the second one here and go to gradient overlay and change the direction so that dark can come from the inside okay and the third one And the last. And this is fine. Press OK and now let's add some shadows. Add a new layer. And let's name it shadows. And then hold control and press on the box of the first circle here to get a selection. And then get the paintbrush, put it on black. And put the size on 200 and the hardness on 0% and the opacity on 24%. And make sure you're on the shadows layer. I'm gonna click once here with 24% opacity and click again to make it darker on the edges and now let's do the same thing for the others go to layers hold control and press on the second box here get a selection and do the same thing and now hold control and press on the third box here get a selection get the paintbrush and do the same thing And the last one. Okay, so after we're done with the shadows, go to the layers and let's add some glow. So press on the first circle here, right click, blending options, and add some inner glow. Put it on screen, 75 opacity, and put this color FB96B7. Okay and put it on edge, softer, and the rest and press ok and you would have this glow and then hold alt and 
Drag the inner glow on the others while holding out and you would have this effect. Okay, so now go to layers and merge all of the layers. Click on all of them and then right click, merge layers and then right click on it, blending options and add some drop shadow. And on the drop shadow, put the opacity a bit lower and the direction maybe you can put it on this side. And I put the distance on 21, the size 16, the spread 0, and the rest. So I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to add the text, add a new layer, and get the text tool. And I'm going to write Flora. And then Control T to scale and transform, and holding out, make it smaller. Place it here. And get the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle. And put the stroke black, and no fill. And make sure the stroke is a bit bigger. This looks fine. So from the layers, you can right click on Flora, Blending Options, and add the same gradient overlay, same colors, okay. And you would see this. And then with the rectangle, right click, Blending Options, and same gradient overlay, okay. And we're done.